All right, today is uh, Sunday, December the 6th, and what you're looking at is the driver's side of the 63 Impala suspension. As you can see, we haven't done anything to the driver's side. It looks pretty bad. This is the way it was when we got it. Until we still got to go through and do all the suspension up here on this side and the brakes and firewall, clean up the frame. We have gotten a little bit more done on the uh, on the passenger side. Since the last time we got the uh, control arms back on, the spring, which was not an easy task, spring is back in there. The uh, all of the bushings for the sway arms, <laughs> sway arms are done. I'm laughing because he's saying funny stuff behind me here. All the all the bushings are done. The front end is put back together on this side, cleaned up. We did a bunch of little extra details. We replaced all the ground straps and uh, cleaned up the uh, control arm bushing, the cups on the ends, added a couple extra little bolts here and there to clean it up, make it look nicer. has new wheel bearings, uh, the brakes. We replaced all the springs and pads and whatnot inside the brakes so and that's a new drum on there too so that's all done um, got the exhaust manifold back on on this side and we still need to put the shock in there that's left to do and we didn't start it this weekend like we wanted to hopefully by next week and I'm looking for a, a torque converter we've got our transmission over here it's ready to go back in and uh, we need to find a torque converter for that. Apparently the, the old one wasn't in the trunk with everything else like we thought it was. And that's about it. Uh, it's been cold here this past week. It's been about 30, 35 degrees. So we haven't been able to do as much as we wanted. I don't know if you can see that sign in the background. Classic and unique vehicles. Some of you may remember anyone from around here anyway. About 15 years ago there used to be a, a little car lot off of I-35 in North Austin and uh, that was a sign outside they closed down a long time ago and actually bulldozed the whole building and now there's a I believe there's a gentleman's club back there and a Target and whatnot but the day before they tore that place down I went and pulled that sign down and put it up here in the garage but that's it for now we've made a little bit of progress and most of the little details and uh, things to make it look clean and uh, We'll make another video when we get a little bit more done. Thank you, Dr. Gonta.